Southwest China's Chongqing municipality has been stepping up efforts to improve its ecological environment. And the efforts have paid off. The city has seen more species of migrating eagles. That has earned Chongqing a new nickname this year, the City of Flying Eagles. British expat James Alexander has witnessed the change. This is Chongqing. The city is famous for the beautiful mountains and rivers. The location where I'm standing is a mountaintop at the Chongqing Southern Hot Springs, and here you can find a good observation point to watch birds of prey on their yearly migrations. The topography of Chongqing has long been a key landmark in the passage of migratory birds, and now the achievements in environmental protection and popular science mean that citizens, both young and old, can enjoy ever closer ties with their natural surroundings. 跨越我们整个城区是有非常多的，从西南到东北走向的一些平行岭谷，在每年春秋季的时候，给他们提供了一个非常明显的一个迁徙上的一个指引。所以的话，在我们重庆每年的春秋季节都会有大量的候鸟，最多的时候一天能够高达万只。这也是为什么我们重庆叫做“莺飞之城”的原因。To improve natural habitats for migrating birds, Chongqing called off the development of a real estate project on Guangyang Island in the Yangtze River in 2017. The island is home to nearly 200 bird species and the winter destination of many other migrant birds. Meanwhile, the city has also been working to improve the water quality of its rivers and lakes while enhancing efforts to crack down on wildlife poaching. 那么从我们这近十年的坚持来看的话，其实对于重庆整个的天气的空气质量是越来越好的，同时呢，也对这些迁飞候鸟，他们在经过我们重庆的时候，能够提供一个比较好的一个迁徙过境的一个环境。The municipal government, charity funds, and wildlife protection institutions have also organized activities to enhance the awareness of bird protection among the public. 嗯，其实我还是希望有更多的人愿意。走进大自然来看一下这些，就是原生状态的一些动物，其实离我们非常近，而且它们，呃，有在飞空中有不同的姿态。后来发现，大自然会给我们非常多的惊奇之心。